Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today we'll be taking a look at the world's first HDMI 2.1 sync box from LightMe. This is their Fantasy 3 TV backlight kit which has an upgraded LED strip light, can fit TVs from 55 to 90 inches. It has four HDMI 2.1 ports, so a massive game changer for those of you who want a more immersive gaming experience with your PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X as it's capable of supporting 4K at 120Hz. And this is something that both Philips you and Govi haven't been able to achieve so far so I'll take you through the setup and test it out with some movies and gaming to see how well it performs highlighting any pros and cons to give you a better idea if it's worth getting or not details are in the description below including purchasing links but before I begin if you're new to the channel hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to get notified of my next release and if you have any questions leave me a comment below in the box you get a user manual, a HDMI sync box and taking a closer look at this is nice and compact. On the top you have a power button, next to that there's a switch button and a light indicator to tell you what's connected. On the side you have some vents, on the back you have a power input port, a TV output connection port and four HDMI 2.1 ports with light indicators. On the side you have one type C port for the strip light and the other port is a TV USB port. Underneath you have some more vents, back to the packaging and you also get a power adapter with a DC connector, a bag with some clips and screws, a HDMI 2.1 cable and finally we have the LED strip light which has 75 LEDs per meter. It's covered in a waterproof coating with a 3M adhesive tape on the back. It consists of four LED strips that are connected via flexible cables for ease of installation around the TV and on the end you have a USB type C connector. So I'll be setting up the LED strip light on the back of my LG mini LED 75 inch TV. Start by cleaning the back of the TV with a cloth to remove any dust. You can start by sticking the strip light on either left or right bottom corners of the TV. I'll be starting from the bottom left corner when you're looking at the TV from the front. First remove the adhesive tape and then stick down the strip light. It's recommended to stick the LED strip light three centimeters away from the edge of the TV. Do the same on the top, down the other side and along the bottom. Once you've stuck down the LED strip light you can reinforce the corners with the clips on either side of the strip light then connect the HDMI sync box with the power cable. The HDMI cable provided can be used for the TV output on the sync box and the other end plugs into your TV. Then plug in your inputs so in my case it will be my two consoles but you could also plug in a satellite or cable TV receiver and on the side plug in the USB type C cable from the LED strip light. Then you can just plug it in and power it up. Once the sync box is turned on it goes through a short calibration process. The sync box does have some functionality but it's very limited. The power button lets you turn the LEDs on and off and if you long press it for five seconds it resets the system. Then you have the switch button that allows you to switch between the four HDMI input ports and long pressing this for five seconds lets you switch the installation direction of the LED strip from either left or right. There's also some status indicators for the Wi-Fi connection and which HDMI port is currently on and that's basically all you have on it. The app to control this and make changes is the LightMe Home app. It's really simple to set up and is available on both iOS and Android. Once installed you have to sign up to an account then click add device and then select HDMI box SE. Turn on your Bluetooth and then the sync box is picked up. Selecting it then you're asked for your Wi-Fi details or you could just skip this and use it over Bluetooth. Once the device is added it will take you into a setup process and this is where you select the side where the strip light starts from and click confirm. Once done it takes you into the home screen where you can turn the strip light on and off and change brightness levels. Underneath this you have the different viewing modes so video, recreation and game and then you have degrees of diffusion slider. This is where you can control how fast the color transitions replicate along the strip light and below that you have the different modes of operation. Currently it's on sync mode then we have music mode where the strip light reacts to sounds in the room and then we have the different lighting scenes like rainbow, drip, ball etc. Scrolling down you have a color wheel where you can select one color at a time to be displayed along the strip light. There's no segmented control so there's no ability to select multiple colors on the strip light manually. And for those of you into your smart tech this is a two-year based product so you can add it into your two-year or smart life app but there's no way of syncing with other devices you have in the room. So other LED strips or light bulbs. You can also control this via your voice assistants like Google Home and Amazon Alexa but functionality is limited to brightness control, changing color 
colors and being able to turn the lights on and off, but you're not able to switch input sources via voice control. Before I test this out, there's a couple of things worth mentioning. The sync box can only sync input signals from HDMI devices that are plugged into the sync box. So if you had a smart TV, it won't be able to sync with any of the apps on there. Or if you're using the TV with an aerial plugged into it, this also won't sync. And if you're wondering whether you can make use of eARC to send a video signal from the TV back to the sync box, well, that doesn't work as eARC is just for audio. If you turn off the sync box via the button on the device or via the app and you still had devices on, they'll continue to work. But if you turn off the power on the sync box via the plug, then any input signals won't be displayed. And it's able to auto switch if you turn on a device that's plugged into any of the HDMI input ports. But if you turn off your TV and put it into standby mode, it's not smart enough to know that and the lights remain on. Now testing this with a color wheel, the colors are transitioning really well and accuracy is spot on with no lag as the colors are matching along the strip light with no delay. And as it's not a camera based system, there's no impact to performance with the lights on or with daylight. Watching movies or TV shows, it works really well with colors from the LEDs expanding beyond the screen, giving a great immersive viewing experience. Even watching movies with a letterbox effect doesn't reduce the lighting on the strip light. It even works well in dead zones and this is where the lights are low or dimmer than the rest of the screen. Overall it does a great job with the LEDs being bright and color transitioning is excellent together with being accurate with the colors replicating from the different scenes. Now onto gaming which is where this is a game changer as performance on my Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5 as it's able to support 4k at 120 hertz. So looking at the TV details on my Xbox Series X you can see everything is ticked and under under video mode, everything is ticked except variable refresh rate, so that's not supported here. I've played a number of different games and the colors replicating from the screen to the LED strip light is excellent, even in the far scenes. Dead zones are represented really well too, and this is where the scene goes dark, so the LEDs in those areas dim down or even turn off to represent it. And as you game, the colors expand further onto the wall and onto the four corners of the TV, giving a really immersive experience. And with the HDMI 2.1 ports, you're getting 4K at 120 hertz with no lag. As the HDMI sync box has four HDMI input ports, so if multiple devices were connected and switched on at the same time, I can switch between each one by pressing the button on the top of the box or using the app. When you do switch, obviously there is a transition of input to the LED strip light. So the strip light will go all white until it has an input signal. And once it's received, it will then calibrate the colors around it until it syncs and displays the colors accurately from the display which just takes a few seconds. Gaming with a sync box is amazing and feels really immersive with the colors being rich and vibrant plus with the colors stretching onto the wall at the back of the TV and into more of the room giving that real immersive experience. Now one thing to note when gaming on an Xbox Series X or S is that if you leave allow auto low latency mode ticked in video modes and you played any game supporting Dolby Vision the colors just remain white or washed out but turning it off resolves the problem and it works perfectly. So in summary, Light Me have created an excellent TV backlight kit with a real immersive experience. Positives wise, it has four HDMI input ports with full support for HDMI 2.1, giving a higher resolution and higher refresh rate with 4K picture quality at 120 hertz. Color representation is excellent with minimal to no lag, even in fast action scenes. The level of immersion is excellent together with the color representation, giving a good level of brightness. That gives this a major advantage over Philips Hughes sync box as that doesn't support HDMI 2.1 and over Govi's immersion kit as there's no camera required here. It has great dead zone support meaning the LED strip lights will dim down in the darker areas and the app has a nice selection of default scenes and the music sync works well too. Price wise it comes in significantly cheaper than the Philips Hue Play HDMI sync box as like me have an early bird offer where prices start from around $200 or £220. Negatives wise the Neo 3 only supports HDMI input ports, meaning it won't work with inbuilt apps on a smart TV or any signals that don't go via its sync box. I would have liked the app to have an option where you could have segmented control on the whole of the light strip. And this is where you can set different colors, but the app only allows a single color to be selected. And this would be useful, especially in situations where you're using the built-in apps on your TV and wanted some ambient lighting in your room. It would have been nice if there was a saturation slider allowing to increase or decrease levels. It can't sync with other lights, 
and on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X or S, variable refresh rate is not supported and neither is allow auto low latency mode on the Xbox, which is a bit of a shame. So there you have it. You've come to the end of another video and I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. And if you're still here, drop a sync box in the comments as it's nice to see who's made it to the end of my video. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be notified of my next release. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.